can use your imagination. You better use your imagination. Let your mind run free. Tell me what you wanna do to me. Use your. You better use your. Y'all, I was debating whether or not I was even gonna come to y'all and talk to y'all about this because. How ill dying hit me in a place that I was not expecting. I sat and cried for I know 15 to 20 minutes. Just hurt. I mean, yeah, how ill got on everybody fucking nerves, but we all loved how ill. Like, man. I don't want to cry no more. Okay, so moving along. Okay, so the episode starts off with Angel. And Angel is still like unwinding from the fact that he's about to get deported and in the midst of all that here comes Ha'il trying to lay to rest whatever issues they may have and it's so crazy because this entire episode he was just trying to make things right Ugh. yeah so Angel was really not having it with Ha'il at the moment he was still really frustrated from everything going on with his immigration and it was just so much on his heart and mind at the time. He was just like, no, Ha'il, I'm just not in the mood. Luckily, he had Simone. And Simone was like, shit, let's just run away. Let's let's just get away from everything. The girls are getting my fucking nerves. I want to quit the group. Let's go. And he was like, when you want to leave? And I was with it. I knew it was going to be some backlash and some, what you doing, Simone? But y'all was just doing too fucking much so i was seeing simone and angel all the way i mean like i've always been team angel and simone but this just made me love them even more carlotta in this episode we see carlotta step up that much more for take three i mean she's managing noah perfectly but she's stepping up and like nah -uh. take three needs to be heard too take three needs to be seen take three needs to be respected and fucking recognized okay and ayana sees that and she's like okay I said, what you got going on? Oh, yes. And then Ha'il hooked up with her damn ass. And we'll get to the shooting later. But I was just like, uh-uh. Ha'il, do not be trying to weasel your way in. Like, I was not here for them bumping and grinding and her missing Noah thing. I wasn't here for all of that because I felt like you always got a plan, Ha'il. You always got a little something up your sleeve. And at that moment, mm-mm. I wasn't for that. Now, seeing her, and I didn't know they was fucking married either. Okay. Seeing her break down and just connect in such a way at that hospital, I, I just, damn. I was going to criticize your sex scenes, Carlotta, because you know how I feel about you and men. But, oh my God, like, I just respected you so much more as an actress, Queen Latifah, because... I cried so many times just connecting with you and feeling your pain and feeding off of your energy. So, I'm having a hard time wondering why everybody else had such a hard time mustering up tears. Because with Queen Latifah giving all that she was giving, all she would have to do is look at me, okay? Now, oh, no, Jesus! No! A stellar performance. Damn near through my shoulder, but bitch, I gave it all I could give. And all I was doing was connected through the screen. So just imagine if I was up close and personal. Uh-uh. Okay, now when everybody was like, how ill gonna pull through? I was like, uh, duh. Because how ill done been through so much, he done snorted so much, he done drank so much. How ill is like a fucking Iron Man. Like, nothing can break him. But I forgot about that damn heart condition. That heart just couldn't fucking take it. Oh, Lord Jesus, I just, I cannot believe how ill is going. I, I just can't, like, what is this third season going to be without how ill, like, but it seemed like the new shiesty motherfucker is going to be Maurice bitch ass, and we'll get to your ass in a minute. Star. Star was already on the rocks with Alex, but when she found out that the track that Alex was working on was with Jackson? Oh, that did it for her. And I feel her. Bitch, I was already resisting letting you in, Jackson. And then once I let you in, you work with my... Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, no, ma'am. So mama said, you know what? I was there for you bitches. 
And after this, I will go down to the iTunes and download that motherfucking song because that motherfucker was a hit. Maurice, she said don't put it out, motherfucker. And that's what the fuck she meant, but... Oh, I'd be damned if that wasn't a hit. Okay, I was... That was a bop, okay? She was giving all she could give on that record. She was going through. Now, Andy. Motherfucker. I... Ooh. I wasn't seeing it for your ass from the beginning. And now that how ill is gone because of you? I'm trying to refrain from saying what I want to say, but... This is my motherfucking conversation, so I'm going to say it. She should have popped your ass from the start. We would have shed a little tear too, but wasn't nobody going to miss you half as much as we miss in High Ill. Why the fuck did she feel like killing High Ill was going to teach you a... No. No, Cassie. No, bitch. No. You should have killed Andy from the jump. And now you all in your... <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. No. And what the fuck did I tell you? I'm right. Y'all gonna learn to listen to the Cats Me Ow. I told y'all. I said Cassie ain't no dumb bitch. Cassie know what's going on. And Cassie gonna confront him. And I'd be damned if we didn't get that in the next episode. Cassie said, bitch, don't be ducking me. <laughs> I know you stole the 15 G's. I want my money. Because next time I'm not gonna miss. But I really hate that two people had to die for you to say that, Cassie. You could have said that from the jump. You really could have said that from the jump. And we would still have High Ill. But then we wouldn't have a little boy. Because High Ill was a perfect match. And he gave his, his kidney or liver or whatever the fuck the boy needed. Uh, I don't want to sound heartless. But I have a relationship with High Ill. I don't know this little boy. So I can't just be like, oh, all is well. And oh, I, I don't feel that way right now. So give me time, damn it. Noah, just as I fucking suspected, Noah is becoming unraveled. He is bursting at the scene at his little event. He was ducking and dodging and sweating bullets and snapping at Ayana. I understand you wanted Alex by your side. But baby boy, you're gonna have to learn to coast on your own sometimes. Um, if you did not notice, your girl is in the same industry as you, and she's in a rising group, as well as making a name for herself individually. Mama ain't always gonna have time to be your right hand man. Eagles fly alone. Pigeons flock together. But I will say, Alex, you was fucking up. You you be up yep 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 with Stevie, but the whole reason why you here is to be a supportive girlfriend to the main event. He can't even concentrate on his damn questions because he's searching this season for your ass. And then when he lock on your ass and he see you talking to Salizo, how did you expect him to feel? I know. I'm so oh no, bitch. Keep it. Keep all of it. But what I will say is. I'm so glad that now Alex knows about your damn drinking. So now everybody can keep an eye on your motherfucking ass. And, Alex, you did what you needed to do to make up for the bullshit you've been putting him through and your goddamn group. You needed to switch seats and save his ass. Kudos to you. But shit, that was expected behavior, bitch. You needed to be a ride or die bitch in the moment, okay? Alex and Derek make peace. Derek, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the cat's meow because after all the shit that she put you through when all you was trying to be was a good boyfriend, you didn't have to do what you did. Alex was gonna still be a stubborn little bitch and stand over there on that stoop like she didn't see you. And you decided to take the high road and say, listen, it don't gotta be like this. If you need me, I'm here. All is well. Kudos to you. And I'm giving you the cast me out because, bitch, you have done something that I still can't do. <laughs> Especially when I know I've done my part. When I fucked up, okay. I still have a little problem apologizing, but I will come around eventually. But when I have done nothing wrong and I have been done wrong, I'm not really going to hold a grudge, but you just don't exist to me no more. Like, you flat out don't exist. Okay, and last but not least, at the funeral... Take three, finally decide, this shit is petty and it's stupid. Let's make peace, let's talk, and let's get back to the reason why we know each other in the first fucking place. 
The music. The love of the music. Let's get back to it. Maurice didn't fuck that up. So, uh, I don't know how that's going to end. And last but not least, and last but not least, who in the fuck is pregnant? Was that Ayana's test? Is she pregnant with Ha'il's baby? Somebody need to tell me something. Because I need answers. Y'all just skated by that. No ma'am. No ma'am. What's going on? Oh, and I know for a fact that Carlotta is going to get in Maurice's ass for what he is doing. Because you are single-handedly trying to sabotage this group. And you're doing it with Natalie. After what Carlotta just went through, you better motherfucking tread carefully. This episode was a lot, y'all. A lot was going on. A lot of tears were shed. And a lot of anger was felt. And then next week is a season finale. Already! Whew. I can't wait. So, y'all know what it is. Same place, same time.